I have nothing for an intro. I don't know how to follow up the the magic. You're not feeling quippy? I don't know. Can you feel wascoey? Uh... Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look at these bad boys right here. What are they, my friends? Well, these are the Air Jordan 6 in the hair color way. However, I gotta talk about everything real quick because, you know, I said the last video, right? That like the Jordan Concord breads, the low 11s, one of the better releases of the year, right? As far as material qualities and all that kind of stuff goes. But I was looking at these because I was like, man, these kind of like outdo those, right? And then I was like, what else have they dropped this year? Because I don't feel like I've bashed on Jordan brand for the main retro line. I feel like I've done it for like their cheaper stuff. So the Air Jordan 1 lows, the mids, those are kind of crappy. Some of the highs are not that great anymore either. It feels like they're just like printing money out instead of like putting some effort into it. The Jordan 13 flints, I was a little disappointed, but they're not horrible. And then the Jordan 4, the metallics, all fire. And they got special packaging just like these do. The women's Jordan, missing the zoom, but still great quality. The royal toes were clean. So yeah, so I'm looking at all of these shoes, Jordan 5, fire red, everything. They're killing it right now. I'm surprised surprised because this right here this feels like that they should be charging like 220 for these you know it's got a special box look at this man look at that then inside they got special wax paper and then underneath that they got more paper and then the materials on these man like y'all are gonna like these dude these are sick for 190 man yo these smell so good they smell like not toxic -y glue but like semi toxic you know what I mean and then uh the colorway just pops so I guess I'll just start off with the bottom look at that almost as pretty as the Jordan 7s like the outsoles the outsole on the Jordan 7 is like just it's one of those things that holds up today where like it's so throwback but so fresh at the same time you know what I mean and these are these are one of them especially in this color like the way that they did the translucent sections this candy bottom it looks so sick I love the white the purple the red the green I know she thinks this is pink it's it's not really pink, man. Pink is pink. That's a hot pink. I've got shoes that are pink. It's not pink. Oh, well, f <laughs> the midsole is interesting too. This is one of the first times, if not the first time, that I've seen an Air Jordan 6 without the color on the little waves. You know what I mean? It almost like throws you off a little bit. You're like, hey, wait a minute. Something's missing. It's, it's color. I wasn't even excited for these at first. I was just kind of like, why are they doing this again? It's like the third time that they've released a colorway like this on this shoe. I feel like it's like every couple years, there's like some sort of like wannabe hair version of the shoe. This is like the official like, hey guys, clearly the carrot and all that stuff. This is the hair Jordan 6. So I do like this one the best out of like the alternate 91s and all that kind of stuff. I think this is the best looking one. Also, again, the quality is awesome, man. Like the materials on here, the new buck is synthetic, so it's not anything great. You call it Durabuck if you want. That's what Nike used to call their synthetic material or their synthetic new buck, I should say, was Durabuck. But the leather on here, man, the leather is actual leather and they're thick cuts too especially on the back i was really surprised by this the texture of the coating the pu coat on top the way that it feels it's soft but thick like i'm just like man like this is a good because I, I wasn't even excited i got these i got these in and i was just like holy shit, they killed this they killed it who's in charge over there right now where like it feels like they're putting money back into these check this out i haven't seen this anywhere i don't know if anybody knows this i was doing the handheld b-roll and i could see inside the the perforations, right? I was like, what is that? That looks like 3M. And I was like, they didn't put any reflective in here and all that stuff, because it's not an OG colorway. You know, there's no reason to do it. What do they say? Or what do you say? Jordan Brand does what Jordan Brand wants. Bam, look at that. Look at that. Yo. Mmm. 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 Woo! I couldn't believe it. I was surprised. And there's a polyurethane insole in here, man. Way to butter me up. Yeah, dude, the details on these are crazy. They're very, like, subtle, even though they're there. I love, obviously, the color blocking. I wish that I still had my sevens. I try to keep my collection down to a minimum, even though I don't feel like I do a really good job of that. But, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I know. But I really do try. You know what I mean? Like, I try to keep it, like, 50 to 70 pairs. And that's, like, way excessive for a normal human. And we're talking about, like, I used to have over three 
300, 500, whatever. I really want to keep it as minimal as possible. But when they put stuff out like this, man, it's just like, mm. so I got rid of my seven, so I don't have them to compare directly, but you guys are going to like these, man. Trust me. They're not as comfortable as sevens though. The sevens are mad comfortable, man. They got a full length air sole unit, all that kind of good stuff. It feels like almost like a modern shoe. These are not like that. These are bricks in comparison. You got a polyurethane midsole, a visible air sole unit in the heel encapsulated in the forefoot. But again, they have that polyurethane insole. So at least that type of comfort, it's going to be money. But anyways, they got all of these features on them because you got all the colors from the hair sevens. I was surprised to see it just in the accent stitching. You know how much extra little work put it right there? That's cool, man. If I was a kid, like if I was a kid still, like a, like a teenager and this came out, I'd be in like all over these. You are all Well, I mean, I'm all over them <laughs> still, but like checking them out. Actually, I do that right now. Okay, never mind. Nothing's changed. You know, I was thinking about this the other night. Actually, it was just last night. I was driving home and it was after basketball, private invite. We're being safe. Don't worry. But I was just like, you know what, man? I think I'm like a lost boy. You're off to fight vampires? No, no, no. Not that lost boy. Like, <laughs> that's a great movie. That's a great movie. You're from Peter Pan? Yeah, I feel like I'm a Peter Pan, like lost boy. Like, I just didn't grow up. Like, I'm still into the same stuff. I still get nerd over the same shit. Like I still get excited. It's weird. The tongue on these guys is just incredible. I don't know if it's going to yellow. I'm pretty sure it's going to eventually, but I just think that the way that they did it is like slick. They made it clear, but milky. You know what I mean? So not like super clear. I wonder if this glows in the dark. But they put the Jordan 7 tongue design behind it. And I love that you could just see it right back there and all that stuff. It's also on the insole. And then the little, I don't even like the lace locks because I don't wear my shoes with these. But if you're gonna have it on there, like remember the Gatorade sixes? Yeah. And it looked like the little Gatorade bottle and now these look like a little carrot. Like, come on, man, that's just, that's just cool. Attention to detail, 3M, fine ass leather. Damn, they did a good job on these. I am not trying to hype these up. I don't even know when they come out. They keep shifting the dates, man. As far as fit is concerned, go true to size. If you want a super snug fit, you can go down half a size. There's not a lot of padding in the Air Jordan 6, especially in the front. So that's just my recommendation for casual use though. I go true to size and they work perfectly for me if I was gonna play in them, which I have, and I won't again, but they're cool. I would go down half a size just to make sure that everything is as snug and secure as possible. So I do wanna emphasize real quick, cause you gotta give props where props is due, okay. right? Cause I'm the first person to really bash Jordan brand. Mm -hmm. Mostly because it's out of love, because I love the shoes, I love the man, I love the product, right? And it disappoints me every time they put out stuff where it's like half-assed or it feels like it's overpriced and all that stuff. Maybe they've kind of like manipulated the, the mindset a little bit because they've been charging 190 for so long and sometimes it feels like it's worth it, sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And then this one feels like it's like a 200 to $220 shoe because of the packaging, the paper, the extra, you know, little attention to, to detail, the materials, all that stuff, even though we should really be getting this every time we should be getting this for 150 because they used to give us not th this box or anything although this the, the printing on the box is not a big deal you know like you can just print on it they're gonna make you a box anyways well no i will say i think jordan brand should switch over to the white boxes across the board why because i know i know you'll get excited i love the retro style stuff they always look scratched to me though, as soon as you bring them home. I'm like, so you're excited about a box because it looks like an old box, but it's all just them delivering them to the shops where you buy them. They get scuffed inside the packaging. Hey man, it's vintage. No, but I'm just saying. <laughs> so, I don't know, it doesn't bother me. Well, like my stuff, unless it's the kids stuff, usually comes in the white boxes and they always look very clean. Yeah, no, I actually, when we got in the, uh, the women's Jordan 11, mm -hmm. uh, the Concord one. I forgot that the box was different. Yeah. So like you handed them to me and I was like, what the f did I buy? So it throws me off a little bit, but I do like the white boxes. They're clean. I just like the presentation. You know what I'm saying? Like they should wow you every time. Yeah. And so I don't want to give them too much props because they should be doing this every time, every release, no matter what, especially for how much money they charge. But the fact that they did do it, thank you. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I spent 190 and got at least 190s worth of happiness for like five minutes until the next release. I wanted to ask you. <laughs> what? Do you ever wish that the human body was made more like a dog or a centipede or a millipede so that way you had more feet to put your shoes on? No. No? No, that's never been a thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying you have so many and I they know. don't get to like properly get. No, I know. That annoys me and that makes me feel like a glutton and therefore I end up feeling like sh but imagine I don't, if you were one of those like horse people or something. Yeah, I don't wish that. <laughs> I don't wish that. That just is weird. 
You know, superpowers <laughs> maybe, but extra feet, nah. <laughs> I don't think so, man. Do you think you could then wear multiple pairs or you would go and buy? That's the <laughs> that part is that you know that I would just double up and wear both of them. You know what I mean? Like it just, it wouldn't even, it would be a mess, man. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work out the way that you're thinking about it. How would you do it? <laughs> yeah, for real, if you had four feet or more, would you wear the same shoe on all of your feet? Or would you, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Or you could just wear the same shoe, but different colors on each foot, right. you know? You know those four packs? So you can have like the red, the green, the blue, mm. the purple. Like the metallic fours? Yeah. yeah that'd be kind of interesting. <laughs> It'd be weird as <laughs> though. What kind of pants would you wear with a horse body? You know, like what kind of, what kind of jeans would that be? There's so many ways we could take this. <laughs> it just would be hella weird, dude. Like I just don't, I don't know. That was so, so <laughs> random. It came to me back there. I needed to bring it to the table. I'm glad I did. Yo, that was a, I wouldn't even call that a tangent. That was fucking weird. <laughs> Okay, even for me. That was a That 70s Show moment. Yes. <laughs> we are sober right now, letting you know. But uh, but yeah, man, these are dope. They came out great. Maybe it's because I'm brainwashed, you know, getting overcharged for nothing. But I feel like I got my money's worth this time, so that's a that's a good thing. Sixes normally do well, so these should do well. And uh, yeah, I hope that everybody that wants a pair is able to get them. I really don't remember the release date because I thought they released already, and then I thought they released this weekend, and now I don't know when they released. So I just don't know. I apologize. This year has been a mess. And uh, yeah, I just hope that you guys are safe. Hope that you're happy. Hope that you're able to grab these if you want a pair. Let us know what you think about them down below in the comment section. And until next time, guys, have a good one.